So I am going to discuss about pedicellary in sea stars. Sea stars are represented by a number of genera. One of them is Asterias. Under genus Asterias, so many species come and all such species possess pedicellary on their aboral as well as oral surface. So let us see the structure of pedicellary and significance of this structure in sea stars. This one is aboral surface of starfish and uh, on the aboral surface you can see these small structures which are protruding outside are spines. Okay, so these spines are present on the marginal area of the arms as well as on the entire aboral surface is scattered in a specific manner. We can identify the aboral surface because this surface is situated on the upper side. It does not come in contact to the substratum. And there is a sieve-like structure at one side of the central disc that is called as madriporite. And another opening, another central opening is anal opening. So by these structures, one can identify the aboral surface of the asterias. In oral view, you can see mainly the presence of ambulacral group. And as I said, pedicellary are found on both surfaces of the animal, oral as well as aboral surface. In oral surface, you can see the centrally located mouth is there. Now on the surface of its body, particularly on the aboral surface, you can see that these are spines. See in the left side of the diagram, this prominent structure is smooth larger structure is tubercle which is also called as a spine and on its either side you can see the presence of a number of dermal branchi or papulae. These are hollow finger-like projections which are very thin-walled and mainly help in excretion and uh, the respiration process. But the spines are hard structures and uh, they are internally supported by bony ossicles hard structures. Small bony structures are referred as ossicles. So these tubercles or spines are, as I said, mainly scattered on the aboral surface and they are internally supported by hard structures. Then very small and so many in number are the pedicellar you see on the basal surface of all these. You can see this is small pincer-like structures are pedicellary. And I'm going to talk mainly about this structure. So these two are the structures of pedicellary. Actually, two types of pedicellary are found in Asterias. So let us see. OK, so this one is a more magnified view of a spine as well as dermal branchi. And uh, if you see the pedicellary, you find that these are of two types. This left one is a straight pedicellaria, a straight, a straight type in which internal blades, so these structures are actually the hard blades, they have a smooth inner surface. Okay, so this inner surface in both blades look to be straight, that is a smooth. These two blades can come together. They can be pulled apart also. So this one is a straight type and the another one is crossed type where the two blades, two hard structures are crossed from each other. They are just like scissor. Okay, they function uh, like a scissor. So if we observe the salient uh, portions of this area, we find that externally it is formed by epidermis. See, this one is epidermis. And then internally you are observing the valves or blades. These two hard structures are there. And these two structures are connected on the lower side by a basal piece or basal plate. So this one is a basal plate. And there are ligaments which connect the two paired blades 
with the basal plate. So these are, you know, thin uh, structures and these structures are muscles <coughs> which are short adductor and abductor muscles. So two types of muscles are there. There are adductor muscles which help in adding the blades close to each other and the other one are abductor muscles which pull the blades apart from each other. So this is the straight type of pedicillaria. Once again, I'm going to repeat that when the two blades come closer, then they actually meet throughout the length. Okay, because inner margin is almost straight, so they can meet all along their length. And in the other type, the two blades are arranged in such a manner that when they will be coming closer, then they will be functioning just like scissor. So two blades are obliquely arranged and in the inner margin, prominent teeth are also there. So, and, and the lower portion also possesses a basal piece or basal plate. And there are again abductor and adductor muscles. So here, short abductor muscles are there, which are single pair. And adductor muscles are two pairs in number. Their movement actually help uh, these structures to bring closer and put apart. Purpose of these structures is that they help in removing the debris which get accumulated over the surface and they are also used as organs of offense and defense. So whenever we talk about pedicillary, we talk about uh, their functions. Actually, they are quite necessary, particularly in the oral surface. Uh, the uh, debris or foreign particles get accumulated on the surface of the animal. So such foreign materials must be removed time to time. And for that purpose, these blades are quite useful. They continuously work uh, in their area, although they are fixed. They are not, uh, you know, of that kind that they can move because uh, their basal portion is well connected to the skin. So they are not much movable. They remain in their position. Slight movement is possible in them because here in this cross type of pedicillaria, you can see the presence of ligament or skeletal muscles, which actually help uh, to move the upper portion, the free portion to some extent on either side. So, uh, but, but their function is that whatever gets accumulated over there, they would be removing such structures with the help of movement of these blades. And sometimes uh, these structures are used to, uh, to uh, attack the small animals which come close to this starfish. So function-wise, uh, we have to know that they are organs of offense and defense, and also they help in uh, making the body surface clean.